going to discuss about how to make a digital thermometer using Arduino and LCD. While everyone knows about the Arduino pins, so let's talk about the LCD pins. The first one is the ground pin, which is connected to the ground of the Arduino. The second one is the VCC pin, which is part of the LCD and is connected to the 5 volts to power of the LCD. The next pins we is, are pretty important, and the first and the first two are RS and enable pin. Well, these are used to modify the small rectangular blocks which make up the display of LCD. And without these pins, no display will be available. The read and write pin is connected to ground, which makes the write pin by default low, the read pin by default high. There are eight data pins. Well, we are using only four in this case. The LCDs we uh, we use. Nowadays, our LED backlit. So to power up the LED, we connect the LED anode to the 5 volts using a 220 ohm resistor and LED cathode to the ground. The next we have is a TMP36 temperature sensor, which takes in analog voltage value through the AO analog pin of the Arduino. Well, let's jump down to the code. Where we include the liquid liquid crystal library for using the LCD. Then we declare the object declaring the Arduino pins which are connected to the respective LCD pins. As we can see, the 12, 11 pin of the Arduino is connected to the RS and enable, and the 5, 4, 3, 2 is connected to the four data pins respectively. Well, then we are going to initialize the variables we declared before. The degree, the real degree, as we can see here and then we print the today's temperature to make the display look good <laughs> so the main part of the program the main heart of the program is the void loop where the first thing goes is by an, uh, by assigning the analog value to degree the degree variable takes analog value from a open well the analog value varies from 1 to 1023 byte so to get the exact value we divide it by 1024 and assign it to the real degree variable. Well, the exact value varies from 0 to 1, so to increase the range of the value, we multiply the real degree to 5. Well, now the value varies from 0 to 5. Then you may be wondering what is these next next steps that I did. Well, TMP36 consists of its own features, whose PDF I have given along this explanation video. Well, the Scaling factor of TMP36 is 10 millivolts per degree Celsius and a linearity factor of plus minus 0.5 degree Celsius, which is the offset value. Hence, to clear the offset, we subtract the real degree value by 0.5, as you can see here. And as according to scaling factor, the temperature value, the real degree value as of now is 100th of the actual temperature that we require. So, to get the actual temperature, we multiply the real degree value by 100 and hence we can get the actual temperature required in degree Celsius. We set the cursor to 0, 01. 0, 01 is the position of the cursor through, from which the code or the temperature and the today's temperature display will, be, will start. So, 0 is this uh, point and 1 is this point. Uh, then we convert the degree Celsius into degree Fahrenheit by adding plus 32 and then we output the final result in LCD by string output. Well, you may be wondering why you typecasted this degree variable and why you why I use 9.0 out here. Well, if we didn't typecast the decimal point, decimal part of these uh, values won't get considered, won't be considered. So we have to typecast the values out here. Uh, typecast the value of degree to double and this divide uh, nine divide divide, divide five by nine point zero to get the decimal part of the quotient. So out here it's one point eight and out here you get zero point something, zero point one two three, zero point four, one point two three. Okay, that's the reason we are using 9.0 and double out here. So now let's show, let's simulate the program. Mm. 
here you can see to this temperature you can vary the temperature from here this comes in degree Fahrenheit as you can see so this is the program you can see it's working it's minus 40, 40 degree it's 936 So, 